the diagnosis came, um, I believe we were at our five month um, ultrasound and the technician kind of looked at the screen and you know we didn't know what we were looking at and she just kind of glanced at it and she said you know hmm which is never good um, so I do remember her going out to get the doctor and you know at the time we thought it was just part of the you know routine for an ultrasound and then she um, once she said it looks like the foot is turned in and um, she said and what she said was um, the baby has bilateral club foot and at the time you know that meant absolutely nothing um, and then it was you know let's talk about genetic testing and and does anybody else in your family have that and we were both like no we're not even sure what it is so you know then the internet comes into play to scare you to death so you research it you see pictures of it and all these horror stories but um, what ended up happening was a friend of ours also had a child who um, had a bilateral club foot and ended up coming to Dr. Tureko. So they had given us her name um, from the moment. Their son was a much more um, a difficult case than, than Ellis was. And so from the minute we had her name, I was like, good, we have, at least we have a place to start. I remember I came with my sister and she looked at his feet and she said, it's not so bad. And I was like, it's not <laughs> because, you know, from the, his feet were literally like in, like folded up against him. So I, to me, I just thought that was the end of the world. He was never gonna walk, he was never gonna run. I was very just overwhelmed. But she said, and just calm and cool as a cucumber, she just said, it's not that bad. So that day, I thought it was just a consultation and it ended up that she did the casting that day. So she said, okay, mom, let's go and get the cast on him. And I thought, wait, now? <laughs> I thought I would have time to prepare and consult and everything like that. And she said, no, we just do it right here. And it takes a couple, you know, I think it maybe took maybe 10, 15 minutes. And she, she just stretched his foot out and she just wrapped the, the casting around the foot um, he didn't cry at all. He was always a good baby, so not no tears. He winced a little bit, but um, she just did each foot very carefully and gently. And um, when he was done, he just was much heavier. <laughs> but um, the casts are a little weighty. But it was such a relief to know that that's all. That's not all it would take, but it was something so simple that could fix something, which you know I thought would be the end of the world when I first got the diagnosis. It just amazed me, even from one week to the next, how much different the his feet looked. They were, you know, they weren't exactly completely turned out, but they were great. It was a huge difference from the week before. So the the progress was, you know, at the time it felt like forever, but it just every single time she would take those casts off, it looked better, and it, they would turn out more. I was in the kitchen, and he was kind of, you know, holding onto the cabinets and feeling his way around, and then he he just he let go took a couple steps, you know, fell down, and we all, yay, you know, everybody clapped, and then felt like after that he was walking by himself perfectly fine, running practically. Um, he would still use his little toy walker that he had, a push toy, but it was, I, I was, that's when the real relief set in, like, okay, now he's walking, so, you know, obviously that part of it, we've passed that, that hurdle, so that was a great feeling.